me just tell you something, guys. Uh, this week for movies was kind of meh and good at the same time. But I remember a week ago, um, I watched a movie and I fell asleep. Um, I caught it from the end, but I went back and watched it. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to review Secondhand Lions, okay? So yeah, uh, pretty much the movie begins off, of course, with, you know, Walter and his mom. And his mom wants to drop him off to his two granduncles, okay? So then what happens is, um, you know, he's shocked that there's no TV and there's no entertainment. And plus that they're, that they're in the middle of nowhere, okay? And of course that uh, they have one million dollars. Now, of course, there's stories going around about them. You know, saying that there's, you know, that uh, they're like criminals and that they stole um, a lot of money. Okay. But yeah, uh, pretty much I'm not going to spoil the whole movie. But um, I will tell you this. Uh, the movie is real weird. You know, it's quirky and it's weird. And it, it's funny too a little bit. It's funny. It's awesome. You know, um, this is uh, such a good uh, movie, man. This movie gets 5 out of 5, okay? I mean, my God, man. Um, the sheer entertainment of this movie. Seriously, like... Let's talk about um, the acting first. Of course, from, you know, Michael Caine, Robert Duvall, and, of course, uh, Haley Jolie um, Osment. Okay. Well, first of all, um, Michael Caine does not suck in this movie. That's surprising. Okay, because everything else the man is in, you know, either for the Jaws 4 or the three Batman uh, films. Oh my god, man. He's just terrible. But in this, he gives actually a good performance. Okay, the man could actually act in this movie, unlike, you know, Fucking Jaws 4 and Batman Begins and The Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. Okay, those are just awful, awful movies. Okay, but his performance is much better than those movies. And, you know, he should be in movies like this. Okay, and Robert Duvall does a, a, a very good job. Okay, I like Robert Duvall in this movie, you know. Such a fucking badass in this movie, okay? And as for uh, Holly, uh, Joel, Osmond, or let's just say the Sixth Sense kid, okay, uh, he does a very good job as Walter. I was, you know, I was very surprised, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I was very surprised with his performance, okay? I, I was very surprised, that's all I'm gonna say. It was really good, okay? So, the writing and dialogue, um... Well done, well excellent, well executed, okay, and um, the story is really good, okay, that, that's all I'm going to say, the story is really good too, alright, um, the cinematography and the visuals um, are good, they are good here, okay, they're just very good, alright, and overall the movie you know, it's, uh, it's fun for the whole family, you know, it's fun for, for the whole family, that's, that's all I'm gonna say, okay, because, um, I don't got other words for this movie, but, um, do I recommend the movie? Yes, I do, you know, um, if you don't like it, I, I can understand why, but, you know, I'm sort of into, like, you know, like, uh, you know, movies like this, sort of, where, um, you know, you got, you know, like, different plots going on, you know, like, um, I don't want to spoil them, you just have to watch the movie for yourself, okay, seriously, but this is such a good film, you know, than the other films that, um, I watched, you know, a couple of days ago or whatever, okay, but yeah, the, um, that filled, that filled the gap, you know, and I got to watch this movie today, that, that's what's awesome, because last week I watched it and I fell asleep, but, uh, yeah, 
Movie review done. I am out. Peace.